In golf, new equipment hits the shelves on a regular basis. With so much gear available, picking out your new club can be a tough decision. And for the tour pros, that decision is vital. Any shot can make or break a tournament and can be the difference between cashing a six or seven figure paycheck or missing a cut. The pros need to trust what they're swinging. You know, I think you're always trying new technology. You want uh, you want the best, but uh, it only ever goes in my bag if I feel like it's, it's, it's an improvement on what I'm already playing. Usually with my irons, you know, I'll put a, a new set in probably once every year and a half to two years. You know, they're always pushing me to play the newest technology, but it has to be better than what, what I've been playing. And I'm constantly testing new drivers and uh, the putter, I've, I've, I've had the same putter now for about eight years, so I haven't really changed that. With millions of dollars wrapped up in endorsement deals, each company wants its players showing off the latest and greatest clubs in their bag. But convincing tour pros to try something new can sometimes be a tough task. A lot of guys don't want to try new stuff. A lot of them are, are willing to. And, uh, you know, we put a lot into the club and, and uh, the technology is making them better. So we, we want them to, to de use the latest because it's going to help them. Some players like switching it up often, choosing to use the best technology as soon as it's available. Meanwhile, other pros would rather stick with what already works for them. Most manufacturers agree that it's important not to pressure players to switch equipment. Some guys you know, have success with a certain product and it's tough to get it out of their hands. Other guys go, yeah, I can hit this and no problem. And, you know, I mean, we've got one guy that has been playing up until this year, an iron that was 10 years old. Worked well for him, he liked the look, you know, just didn't, doesn't make changes well. Having your tour staff perform well with old gear is still better than playing poorly with new stuff. It's really easy if the product's enough better. And if it's not better, we don't ask them to change anyway. It's always got to be better. When a player considers changing it up, the bottom line is always, how will it perform? It takes some golfers months to trust new equipment, while others are comfortable in just a matter of minutes. I don't do a whole lot of testing, but if I do and a club is better, it doesn't take me long. If it is uh, better, test better, I go out on the course and it's better, it'll be in my bag uh, right away. Uh, you know, I'm probably on the slower end of, of equipment changes compared to some guys. I like to, you know, I like to get the new stuff, try it, make sure it's good, and then go home and play with it for a few weeks on off weeks before I put it in the bag. I know some guys can pick a new driver up on Wednesday and it's in there Thursday. I, I'm not one of those guys. It takes a while for me to sort of test them and make sure that you know you, you build up enough enough confidence in, in a new club that uh, sort of once that, that level's reached then you can you know take the old one out put the new one in. You know we're the display models for the new equipment and, and uh, you know they want us to get into that equipment and use it and it is good stuff every year they're coming out with new ideas they're being innovative so you know it, it definitely is better than the generation before but it just takes a little bit of a transition to get it in the bag sometimes. Some use vigorous tests and technology to see if it's working, yet others go solely by feel. Really it just comes down to being on the range and, and on the golf course and feeling comfortable with them. Um, I think you, you know, we ha we're very fortunate and to have all this technology now, TrackMan and all kinds of different uh, gadgets to, to help us look at spin and loft and, and launch angle and all that kind of stuff. But when, in the end, you know, you have that kind of instinct, whether you know it uh, feels good, uh, whether it reacts well in, in the different conditions and wind. And um, that's really the best, uh, best way to figure out if you want to put, put clubs in. While you can't judge a golf club strictly by appearance, the look of a new club can definitely make or break a deal. That's a huge huge part of it. If something doesn't look good um, when you're standing over it, it's hard to get past that because obviously that's what you're looking at when you're over the ball. It comes down to determining what will help the player hit the ball longer, straighter and more accurately. Whether tour pros change equipment with every major club release or wait until they test something they know they just can't pass up on, they're making the change because they know it gives them a chance to play that much better.